Hi everybody, this is Atik. I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, in my today's session, let me continue the Pandas library of Python and here let me discuss with all of you one more feature of this Pandas library which is Pandas series. So here in my last video already have discussed with all of you how to create a Pandas data frame. Okay, and I have given some sample programs, but in my today's session, let me discuss and give you some more example programs. Now, this time related to Pandas series. So, what is actually a Pandas series? My dear students, a Pandas series is nothing but where you can represent the output in a serial order. Okay, how you can represent the output in a serial order, how you can perform the analysis, everything I am going to show you with some set of example programs. So, let us start with first example program. So here I have taken a question, create a simple panda series from a list. Now here I am taking a list and from that list how we can create a panda series. Let me show with all of you. Okay, so let us start the program. So first of all, we need to import the pandas library as usual, import pandas and I am taking it as alias as pd. And here I have taken one variable which represents the list of three items 1, 7 and 2. Now I have taken one variable where I want to store this series. So pd and here you need to use the keyword series starting s should be capital letter. Whereas in the previous program where I have discussed with you about data frame d and f must be capital letter. So here you need to observe s should be the capital letter. So pd dot series simply you put the variable representing the list. And once you displayed this my variable what happened? the output will display in this manner. So let us see the expected output. So this is the expected output 1, 7 and 2. This is not tabular representation. This is not data frame my dear students. This is a series of numbers which have been displayed 1, 7, 2. You know why we are calling it as a series? You might have got the idea by seeing the sequence order. As I already told with all of you that every element in our pandas library when we are talking about the storage it will be stored at the index position starting from 0. So similar thing happened here the number in the series 1 is stored at index 0, 7 stored at index 1, 2 stored at index number 2. Now what is this last category which came here it represents the type of data the data type of the particular computer. So depending on your computer's hardware configuration Okay, this data type will come as the output along with this 1, 7 and 2. Now here also 0, 1 and 2. This index has been allocated by your computer. These three numbers have been stored at these three index positions. Okay, this is how you can create a simple Panda series program from a list. Now, sir, the next question. Can we change the index names here? For example, I don't like using 0, 1, 2, sir. I want to change it with my own way. Whether it is possible? Yes, of course it is possible. Let me show you one more example program now. Create a simple panda series from a list with labels. So one more thing that is added here is with labels. In previous program, no labels. But here I am going to show you how you can add your own labels. So for that, let me show you the program once again. So here also I am taking the same program with small modification. Same list of three items. Now here you need to observe this new thing. Okay, here I have taken a new attribute name index and here I have given x, y and z. Why I have given only three? Because I am having only three items in the list. If you are having four items in the list, you need to give it as four labels. If you are having five items in the list, you need to give it as a five labels. Okay. And when we run this program, my dear students, so you will get this expected output. So here X, Y, Z. X position 1, Y position 7, Z position 2. In previous program, what we got the output? We got the output 0, 1, 2 because we have not given any user defined labels. But here in this program, as we have given our own labels x, y, z, that's why we got x, y, z as the output. Okay. So this is how we can create a simple panda series from a list. Sir, can we create this panda series programs from the dictionary also? 
yes it is also possible you can combine your dictionary with the pandas series let me show you one more example program dear students we can integrate this concept of python libraries with any concept okay now you can see here again i have imported the pandas library and given the alias as pd okay here i have taken calories now this is a dictionary actually now i want to combine this dictionary and integrate it to the pandas series so day 1 420 day 2 380 day 3 390 so this is key and this is value key number 1 day 1 key number 2 day 2 key number 3 day 3 and these are values so let let me show you the output now this time so the expected output of this program is here so we will not get the index here why because we know that in dictionaries the role of selecting the index the role of assigning the index is in the hand of the user that is how dictionary is different from list and tuples okay whereas in list and tuples the index are index positions are allocated by index positions index labels they are allocated by computer itself but here in the case of dictionary we know that user not only should, should select the value but also should select the key as well for that reason we got day 1 420 day 2 380 day 3 390 and then we got the data type at the last so this is how we can create series that is panda series by using multiple concepts of our python so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah peace